Hey guys, Chloe here back with another video. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. First things first, happy Easter or I guess happy late Easter. Today's Easter for me, it is Sunday. Today we're doing a like kind of get ready with me and come with me through my day. So I just woke up and we're just gonna start this video with getting ready. Being a family of five with one small bathroom is not convenient. So right now I'm waiting to get into the bathroom. In the meantime, we're feeding Ponyo, my little fish. If you're new here and you haven't seen it, there is a playlist on my channel, Take My Pets to School, but let me know if Ponyo should come back for a day. I guess while I'm still waiting, I'm gonna make my bed quick, kind of put some things away at my desk, put these packages away, cause that's for reviews and don't wanna film them today now. Before I actually start getting ready, since I'm still waiting to use the bathroom, watch how much lighter opening my blinds can make my room. Like what? I used to hate having them open. Now I love it and I hate, I love daylight now. I finally got the bathroom and the lighting in here is god awful. You're sitting on my window right now so that the lighting's a little better. We're gonna clean my retainers real quick cause it's kind of gross but I don't actually clean them that often. I totally forgot Easter baskets were a thing and I just got called out for that. I just got $20 and a handful of candy and like a slushy thing which I just put in my freezer. I don't know what just happened to the light. But we're gonna finish the skincare real quick. I just moisturized with CeraVe, then I used the Kylie Cosmetics under eye cream. Then I roll it all in and I use the I Do Care lip mask thing. I hate the feeling of moisturizer so much. This Kylie Skin eye cream is really good. I don't know what it actually does or if it actually does anything. But like something just tells me that it's really good and I really like it so I always use it. The I Do Care Plush Party Lip Mask. That's what I was trying to say I use. I couldn't remember what it was called and I couldn't be bothered to take it out of my fridge until just now when I was ready for it. We're going to pick out my outfit now because I'm going to change first. Today there is actually nice weather. Right now it is 55 and the high is 66. We have lunch at my mom's mom and then dinner at my dad's parents. All right, I've just picked out three options for like the main part of the outfit. I have this sweater from Soul Mia and both of these from Romwe. I'm kind of aiming towards this one with just the orange tank top underneath and a pair of white shorts. A whole bag of potato chips in my garbage can. We're not looking at that. The sweater is so big though, so it's gonna like cover the shorts anyway. I'm having issues. I lied. I just switched up the whole outfit because I forgot last night that I wanted to wear this. So I love like these plaid skirts and this one is from Romwe. I just have this pink one here. And then these white and black long sleeve turtlenecks. They're literally from Walmart, but they go with everything and they're such a good staple piece to have. So obviously my hair and makeup isn't done yet, but this is the outfit. It is just this pink plaid skirt from Romwe. And then once again, this white like turtleneck mock neck from Walmart. I might end up changing the skirt though because apparently I outgrew it already and I haven't even worn it yet. It feels really, really tight on my thighs. I think I'm just gonna switch to the green skirt because it's longer too and that way my family isn't gonna be up my butt about it. I lied, I like just wore that green skirt and I don't feel like re-wearing it. So we have the blue one, which is also from Romwe. I'm not gonna lie, there's still a chance that I'm probably going to end up going with the green skirt. Let's start the makeup. We're just going simple. But first, I would like to thank Dossier for sending me these two perfumes here. So each of their perfumes comes in this small little box. They have a little flap here which you can open just like this. Each of their perfumes is designer inspired and in the lid here it says iconic scents, designer quality, and no markups. Next in the box is this small card. The first perfume I have is Oriental Lavender. Oriental Lavender is inspired by Giorgiano Armani. The average cost of their perfumes is about $29 and they come in a little box just like this with a free sample. This is the first perfume here. You can see it is in this really nice glass bottle. They look like very, very expensive perfumes while they are very affordable. This one smells a little bit like cologne and lavender mixed together, but I really, really like this one. 
The top notes on the bottle are lavender, bergamot, and grapefruit. Middle notes are tarragon, guaki wood, and neroli. And base notes are benzoin, cedar wood, and tonka bean. I'm not sure if I pronounce this right, but that is this first perfume. The second one here, once again, it has this small card and the little sample perfume. This perfume is Floriental Vanilla. Once again, it has this little magnetic lid. You can see it easily clicks itself into place. This one also definitely smells expensive. I don't even know if that makes sense. The top notes for this one are mandarin, pear, pink pepper, and licorice. Middle notes are jasmine and orange blossom. And base notes are cedarwood, patchouli, vanilla, and coffee. This one is definitely my favorite because it smells very sweet. This one is also inspired by YSL Black Opium. Each of these perfumes is a 50 milliliter bottle, so they are definitely a good size and they smell super strong, so these should last you for a while. We're gonna go ahead and today I'm using this Floriental Vanilla. A little will definitely go a long way because they smell super strong. But thank you so much to Dossier for sending me these perfumes. I really like them. They'll definitely be two of my new top used perfumes. I will have their Instagram and their storefront link down below. You can go check out their perfumes or they sell a bunch of different other scents. We're going to start with covering this big pimple on my chin with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealers. It's literally so sensitive it hurts to barely tap it to blend in the concealer to cover it. Thank God I'm getting tan from track again so my concealer actually covers me. Next with the Kylie Skin Translucent Setting Powder. There's some left over on my beauty blender. I'm just going to cover the spots of concealer to set it in then we're also just going to set in the under eyes we're also doing some down the nose and like right here because i have like these weird little bumps all over and this just kind of helps to cover it blend it all out the james morphe palette for eyeshadow i just use the color punch me for a nice brown shade then i go in with a bit of so good to add some glitter i need some music it's 11 11 hang on some lip gloss but I think the makeup's done we just went pretty simple and now we are going to go ahead and get into the hair so I brushed through it and then I have this not your mother's all lies on me 10 in 1 hair perfector and this tresemme heat protector uh this is like a very weird concept for me but like whenever it smells like really give me like nostalgia is that the right word I don't know, but I got this like the beginning of quarantine last March and then I stopped using it for a while and I couldn't use it again because of the smell because it gave me weird memories. But now that it's like the same time again, I can use it again because of the smell. I don't really know. I'm going to shake it up though. Spray this in first. And then... Is this broken? I just used it yesterday. I'm like disappointed this stuff doesn't work. It makes my hair feel so soft. We're going to go ahead and just start straightening my hair. So the hair is done. We had one final outfit change, which was back to the green skirt, which I'll show you in just a minute. So we are about to leave. This is the final outfit change. It is just the same shirt from Walmart. And the final change was to this green skirt just because it's longer and it has more waist room since I'm going to be eating lots of food. The jewelry is more simple as usual. I just have this really small choker here. It just has this very small gem, which is from Five Below. Then I have my regular earrings, except I have these new Chanel earrings, which I love so much. They're from For The Fashion Boutique on Instagram. I'm doing an unboxing, like, in a couple days. For shoes, since I'll be taking them off right away once I get inside, I'm just going to wear my white Crocs. I'll try to take some clips on my phone, but if not, I'll see you guys later for the outro. Yeah. 
All right, guys, so it's actually Saturday right now, like, right before this is about to go for you guys to see it. I never filmed an outro. I didn't take any clips on my phone either. We basically just ate, then we came home, and then I had Gia come over. She stayed the night. Nothing too interesting really happened that you guys missed. Once again, dossier will be linked down below, and that is all I have for you guys today. So always remember to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. You can find my social medias in the description, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.